for this one right here, I'm just very lightly holding it because I, I want to get rid of the frizz. Welcome back to another video of Act Out Virus. And this is my universe today. I have a banger for you guys because, because, listen to this. Cut, 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 listen to this. I'm getting rid of this thing that I like about, unique thing about my dread, which is the curliness at the end of my dread. A lot of people have asked me how I got that and how to go about it to get it. But I can't say this or that to get to it. But it's like, if you have not got dreadlocks yet, the easy way, or if you have dreadlocks, I think you can comb out the ends and get the curl, curliness out of it. And like, as you wash it, of course, it will twirl. But some people ask me literally, how do I get my hair to, curl, to, to be dreads and to curl at the end, which I have some unique stuff about my dreads like that. But I didn't forcefully or I didn't intentionally do it. It just accidentally happened. But today I'm gonna show you guys how to blunt your tips. But before we get into the video, here is intro. Intro! For this video, you guys just need a crochet needle. If you haven't got one of these, there's some on greatlocks.com. And you guys can find this. I'm not sponsored or anything, but hey, I got this for free. So you might get yours for free. I don't know. Go check it out. The deal, the deal of the day. <laughs> Today, like I said, I'm going I'm to blunt out my tips. Uh, I have some that are loose already. I'll start with those. I just showed you guys how to do one, and the rest should follow. So basically, you take one of the locks that you want to do that to and what you basically do is that uh, make sure first of all they're loose they're not dreaded so if they dreaded you don't have to um, uh, take them out to do them again because you will make your dread look shorter or, or it, will, it will actually make your dread look shorter because you want to you want to go up to get a, a good blunt tip you know what I'm saying so right here is very much so curly at the end of it uh, it's one of my, the uniqueness of my dreads I have some few others that are just like that which I do not want to do that too because I just like them I just like to keep them unique like that but for today I'm gonna show you guys how to do it just in case you guys have loose hair at the end or your dreadlock texture your hair texture is very different than mine so you guys have this issue basically uh, I don't have any issues like this because I'm like a 4a around that uh, hair type I don't usually suffer with this kind of this kind of mess but you guys do you guys some of you guys hair is very much so like in the three so you have this problem what you do first is you take you take the part that is like so my dread is like you can see right here is where it, it ends almost and this is like almost like loose part so what I would do is hold it up to where it's a blunt tip and now what you want to do is you want to take your crochet needle this is literally the basics the essence of crochet needle what you do is you go to the other side and grab the hair and bring him to this side that's all you do so for this it will come in handy so I've done a video before actually where I took out some of my frizz from my dreadlocks and uh, not took them out but the, the ones that are already out and I basically crochet needled them and I rubbed them so two methods that I used and I'll be using that at the end of this also so to start off with you grab it you fold it in half grab the crochet needle go to the other side and basically you just grabbing it putting it in there see how I just went in whoa whoa huh yeah crochet needle comes in handy for dreadlocks if you're trying to start dreadlocks like towel method sponge rub method you're going to end up looking like spongebob you want to start your dreadlocks with a crochet needle if you want unless you want free form you want to start it with a crochet needle it's an instant way to get dreadlocks it's an easy way to achieve that look that you want for your dreads especially if you like my type of hair dreads or my type of dreads you have to get a crochet needle so I know to show you guys it's hard to do it at the same time, so I'm gonna just I just showed you guys how to do it. I'm gonna just go ahead and you know finish it off a little faster, you know. And another method that you guys can do also is you guys gonna go at an angle. You guys are gonna go down in the angle, and whatever dread tip that you guys wanna put back in. You guys twist the dread around it and you pull it in. So that's another method, but I'm not using that. I just showed you guys how I did mine. So I'm gonna just finish it off just like that. Get a one that has like this wood piece in the back. It's, yeah, it's so easy to hold, so easy to grab. I used to have just a needle, just straight up needle. <laughs> it was it was a pain in the butt. Like it slips out, your hair, your hand gets sweaty, and you know, it gets it gets hard afterwards. So you just wanna do this. And as you guys can see already. 
pretty, it's looking good already. See the top is connected, the tip, the end of it was right, uh, that was all the way out here, it's like all the way back here now. Now I just gotta work in this fat section that it has. What I would use is I would actually rub it to see how it looks. And it's looking very good. Rub it again, a little bit more. So basically that's literally how I got my instant locks. So as you guys see, it needs a little bit more work. You guys see a little bit of space in between. You guys see where it got connected. So I'm gonna get rid of that real fast. And I don't do this much often to my dreads. So I'm not the best at it. But I'm learning as I go also and showing you guys how to do it. Cause I kind of know how to do it in my head. Usually things like concerning dreads or concerning anything. And when I do them, of course, I get efficient at it. I think that's what, that's how this world works. You got it in your head and you manifest it and make it come to pass. So, yep, that's good. I'm gonna grab another one that has good curl at the end of it. Most of them are pretty good. So, see how curly that is? the end of it people like that for some reason I don't know I don't see a point getting rid of it I don't see a point of having it either so um, what I would do is for this one it's so curly like I said very curly I'm uh, not gonna shorten my dread so much but I'm gonna find the end point of my dread basically where it kind of like needs to end at so I kind of can tell it's like supposed to end right there the rest is just a curly hair that's sticking out, almost like a frizz. You can call it like a big bunch of frizz. I'm gonna go again, like down from it, like this way, where I want it to end. And I'm gonna go to the other side, and I'm gonna grab the end, or the whole thing, basically. And I'll put, I'm gonna push it up. So I'm gonna grab it, push it up. So this is another method of getting the blunt tips that you guys are looking for so all this work this thing is so comes with so handy look at that already now I'm gonna go a little bit higher so I can pull everything in very much uh, so I can pull everything in and make sure that it's very blunt and not loose and as I'm doing it, I'm actually like, you know, kind of moving my fingers like that, swirling it, twirling it. And this way, I like the first method better, to be honest with you. Just because, I don't know. This is pretty cool also. So as you guys see, I just literally knocked it out literally it's inside there and it needs a little bit more work um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go very lightly gently holding the dreadlocks and then going in with the crochet needle uh, the first way when I was doing it in the beginning I held my dread pretty pretty tight because I didn't want it to go or, uh, like I don't want I didn't want more dreads to come in I wanted it to stop at a certain place so I held it where I wanted to stop and I pulled everything in for this one right here I'm just very lightly holding it because I, I want to get rid of the frizz of this area this whole area uh, and you've seen it in the previous video so I'm not going to go into this I'm just going to fast forward this part uh, this part right here That's the end result of my dread. As you guys saw that I didn't damage none of my hair, I didn't damage nothing. And like I said, I will fix this. Uh -huh. It's a lot of frizz and it's a lot of hair. But like I said, I used to trim this down for my hairlines and I used to get a hairline on top of it. My forehead looked bigger now, I don't care no more. I'm getting these to grow to where I connect them to dreads. Where, where we at right now is not that far from locking them because last time I was trying to lock these up just by his own and see if I maybe, maybe if I get a baby hair dreads. But I ended up just twisting them like this and seeing how far, how long they are. They about two, two inches, two and a half. 
maybe three. And so I'm gonna wait just a little bit more to lock them in into the other part of my dreads because my dreads, I don't like it when they get skinny, man. And as I know, it's when you get retwisted, I know when I twist them, drag retwist and stuff like that, gets them that way. But I'm gonna actually get a professional drag loctician to lock my hair next. So on my next retwist video, it's gonna be a whole different set of dread because this all gonna go in like i uh been growing out all these side ones too that i usually trim up trim out i end up cutting it accidentally maybe with the other hair so you know what i'm saying i have a lot of new growth basically and i could literally get dreads in the front like baby dreads and let them down like this if you guys want to see that maybe comment down below but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i need support man i'm out almost at 10k but i want you guys to hit the notification man i'm gonna do one thing okay for everybody that comments notification gang on the next video the, the first 10 people gets a shout out on instagram how about that you go on instagram show me that you did it you will get a shout out so when i hit 10k i want to do also a giveaway i don't know what to give away yet maybe a, a crochet needle with a shampoo or with another thing that I use or maybe you drop me like your cart or something like that on Amazon and I get you a cart of like things that are like 100 bucks for dreadlocks that can work for your dreadlocks so I've been thinking about giveaway I don't know uh, what to do or how to do it yet um I'm gonna get I'm gonna let you know uh, I'm gonna let you you do you wish you want to. know that guys but it's gonna be for a few people that's gonna be commenting first you know the notification gang people the day ones people also I recognize everybody when I read all the comments so I thank you guys so much I'm almost at 10k I'll probably be at 10k by this month if not next so thank you guys for loving this videos Check out the previous video, but till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. Create your universe, man. Start working on your universe. What does you want to do? What do you want to do in your life? What do you want to do about your dreads? Everything, man. Create that and make sure you create it with the word of God, which is the verse, the scriptures. Now you get it. Act the verse. Deuces somehow. Love y'all.